right now, there is no way that we could come to the Sunshine Coast without catching up with our next guest. A very big welcome to Wildlife Warriors, Terry, Bindi and Robert Irwin. Big round of applause, Yay! everyone. All right. Thank you so much. Good to have you back with us. We're so proud of you. Thank you. Oh, it's so good to be back. And yeah. where would you rather be? I mean, we truly live in the most beautiful place on planet Earth. And we have our koala with us, April. So we couldn't start the morning without a few koala cuddles. It's good. been well, a good the, day. The, uh, the koala is behaving a lot better than some of the dogs back here. <laughs> we just had a massive stink. Koala didn't even move. Just a massive stink on some of the dogs. Amazing stuff. You all right up there, Terry? I'm physically, I'm fine. <laughs> you, must have, you must have been very proud of her, yeah? You know, Bindi is just amazing, and I couldn't have been more proud than all the time we spent in L.A. doing Dancing with the Stars. Seven days a week, yeah. rehearsing constantly, doing the shows live. It was a lot of pressure, and Bindi had never danced before, so it was amazing to watch her just blossom. Robert was with us the whole time, yeah. taking photographs. You know, he got a photo in L.A., and he knew Lisa was a bit of a photography yeah, exactly. buff, yeah. so and he's so brought. He. He's brought yes. a spread. Do you want to show Lisa your present? Oh, absolutely! Just grab it real yeah. quick as a flash. There you right. go. Ready? Well, here you go. This is a canvas of okay. one of the photos that I took in LA of really? a hummingbird. So really? It's yeah, it's from the Hunger Games. From yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's really yeah. exciting. So oh, that's Robert's that photo there. Yeah. That's a photo. Yeah. yeah. That looks like a watercolour. Isn't something. that amazing? Oh, thank you very much. And you took that. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. We set up hummingbird feeders, so we drew lots and lots of hummingbirds in. That's so, incredible. Yeah, thank you, Robert. And you're giving yeah, no me worries. a koala. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, we exactly. BYO'd our own koala for a year. Absolutely. <laughs> um, just quickly, just on your Dancing with the Stars phenomenal effort, Carl and I were watching yesterday morning because Good Morning America precedes the Today Show, very early hours um, back here in Australia. You are such a superstar over there at the moment. They actually got you on live from Australia to give advice to all of those who've just been named in the next series of Dancing with the Stars. I mean, Absolutely. you must feel part of that family now, do you? Oh, I feel so honoured because I think that once you're a part of that family, you're the there for life. And it is such a brilliant right experience now. because you kind of want to take everyone and say, just enjoy every moment because you have to share your story and just give it your all and try your best. But I was so lucky because I had the support not only from America, but here in Australia yeah. as well. So to be there encouraging people to come and visit us in the most beautiful part on planet Earth, which is the Sunshine Coast. I love it here. <laughs> so to be able to talk about where we're from and just encourage more people to love our gorgeous area. So last last night I was there with a gorgeous steak for the live cross in GMA and just excited to encourage everyone to continue to spread that love and Do light. Do you think it encourages people to come to Australia when you show those big things? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> You know, we've got our snakes, we've got our koalas. Sharks, crocodiles. <laughs> it works. Yeah. Well, you know, Africa, they have, they've got the big five. We have crocodiles yeah, and snakes bigger. and koalas, better. kangaroos. Oh, yeah. We do killer animals better than anyone else in the world. We have yeah. really yeah. lucky. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but honestly, you have to watch out for those poodles more than anything. Yeah, no, the they're, 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 they're a bit, they're 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 a bit deadly. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Um, but, you know, Terry raised it, and I think this is the thing about those sort of things and those that level of competition, it's huge. It's a huge show in the States, mm. but you dealing with the pressure of performance on those big nights, was that something else entirely for you to deal with? It was a lot of work because it is so new and yeah. so different. And honestly, every single Monday night, I was terrified, truly terrified, because yeah. you never quite know what's going to happen. So it's just a matter of being grateful. Yeah. Here's the big lift. The big lift. Oh, that was so scary. And we, we made it, thank goodness. But Nobody puts Bindi in the corner. Exactly. <laughs> They're supporting me no matter what. Yeah. It meant the world. And you guys, I mean, your support was so wonderful. I, I kept hearing from everyone back at home. Oh, and we were so proud That's of you. So kind of you. So thank you. And I'll, I'll just keep seeing you to keep doing my well, best. We're going to run a campaign that Robert has yeah. got to be next on the next oh. series of Dancing <laughs> with the Stars. I sat I with you in the audience yeah. and you were biting your fingernails right down to the quick watching exactly. your sister. Oh, but I, I could think... tell that you were just dying to get out there and, and try the same thing. Yeah, it would be an amazing experience. I think I was more nervous than Bindi was, truly. But I was so proud of her, and I think it would be a pretty amazing experience, definitely. I truly believe you'd be good at it. You oh, are so you. strong. You two are just <laughs> overachievers. It makes me sick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Terry, just to you, uh, for you at the end there, you've got that koala. Koala's gripping on. Are you okay? Yes, yes. No, I'm right? good. She's just hanging on. She's beautiful. 
Yes, we do have our drop bears in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so proud too because we've seen our visitation on the Sunshine Coast go up by about 20% from wow. North America. Nice. So God bless the Americans are all discovering where Australia is. Yeah, it's yeah, terrific. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so you've, you've been in and out of South Africa too recently and working with cheetahs. Yes, we've got uh, the Cheetah Outreach Facility is one of the, the charities that Wildlife Warriors supports. And they breed these awesome dogs. They're massive Anatolian shepherds and they protect the livestock so that farmers don't have to kill cheetahs. And it's 100% successful and we've got 216 dogs placed now in farms all over South Africa. So it's a fantastic yeah, program. Fabulous. And it was great catching up with everybody. You've also got a very big announcement about your wonderful husband, Steve. Tell us about that. Well, for the first time ever, we're having the Steve Irwin Gala Dinner at LA. So we're launching in May, on May 21st, at Marina Del Rey, the first time ever for this special event. So we'll be raising funds for wildlife warriors in the United Fantastic. States in honor of Steve. And what a smart move because, you know, America just fell in love with Steve's story and Steve's work and, and the, the wonderful legacy and the work that you guys are doing all over again. You've got something like 47 million followers on Instagram now. <laughs> there's, 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 a, there's a few, but it is wonderful because I feel like it is the perfect time. Yeah. I mean, it just feels like the perfect time to be able to really reach out to the United States and continue to share Dad's legacy and message. Because he always said, I don't care if anyone remembers me, I care if people remember my message. And so yeah. that's what we're really trying to do as a family. So it'll be a great night raising funds for Wildlife Warriors, and we're just excited to get back over What there. do you reckon your dad would make of your boyfriend? <laughs> Him. I hope he'd like him. I'm not sure who, who loves Chandler more, me or my family at the no. moment. So he's it's actually awesome. he's been visiting Australia Zoo at the moment yeah. and he's terrific. It's just nice to have so many people around me who are so passionate and determined. And Chandler's one of those people that is just a really good, kind individual. Are you going to get married and stuff? <laughs> We'll see how we go. I, I'll be 18 this year, so I'm looking forward to the next few years, and we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's early for that, Terry. Early. <laughs> he's really it's part of the family, though, isn't he, Terry? He's, he really is, and he's he's a great guy. And I think you know, just Steve said, all he's got to do is swim across Agro, our crocodile's pond, and if he makes it. Steve would approve. <laughs> luckily, luckily, he is a wakeboarder, so maybe he can wakeboard across. I'm not sure if that was in the rules. Yeah, still yeah. Not <laughs> yeah we'll see. We'll see how we go. So, what lies ahead now for you guys? Oh, next, we are so busy with more conservation work yeah. with Wildlife Warriors. I'm really excited to be doing a little bit of writing at the moment. So, oh, great. Who are you writing for? Well, I'm writing a book at the moment, oh. which is really... There's your exclusive for today. Yeah. So, yeah, so I'm really thrilled about that. And continuing with all of our wonderful wildlife work, you know, I just hope to be able to raise even more awareness every single day and yeah. inspire more people to be the change they wish to see in the well, world. Well, I tell you what, you have got a way with words. You Thanks. really do. Whenever I see your beautiful posts on Instagram and I know that that they're your words you have an incredible level of love for what words mean and the influence that they can have on people and I just I encourage you to, to keep going with it I'm thrilled to hear that you're doing a book that's great news I'm really excited just to be sharing that light and positivity because we all need to find that happiness no matter what we've done in life we've got to search for that happiness and it's really important so I have my beautiful family we have a lot of wildlife work and yeah. as I get older I'm excited to start tackling bigger issues facing our world today. sweet as anything we should know about the koalas just they're interesting because you were mentioning that they can be a bit amorous. Yeah. So with koalas, not so much. But with crocodiles, interestingly enough, no means no. So if the male is amorous and the female's not in the mood, he has to go away. <laughs> Does he? Isn't that interesting? It's a bit wow. archaic. It's just, it's funny There's how... There's we could learn from that, I think. <laughs> you wouldn't expect them to be so loving, but yeah, they yeah. really are. Koalas are a little bit more, how you going? Yeah, but, they, they um, throw it around a bit. We just, we love them. At our Australia Zoo Wildlife Hospital, we've been testing a special vaccine for a disease that the koalas get. Oh. And so far it's been working really well. So That's we're hoping fabulous. to be able to protect them more in the wild. All right, big Great round of news. applause for this wonderful family. Thank, Thank you so for coming in today. So good to see you. Lisa and I'll see the wedding for a reduced fee. Yeah, we got that sorted. <laughs> got Thank that you. sorted. Thank you. Have a great to see you though.